Hello there, my name is Jeff Harrison and today we're going to have a look at how to create some artwork in Corel Photo Paint and how we're going to turn it into vector shapes very quickly using Corel Draw. We're using uh, the X4 series of the programs and I'm just going to create some uh, silly shapes here just to show you the kind of a cartoony technique that you can use for your own artwork. I've got my um, uh, pen settings enabled and I'm going to disable that. If you're not familiar with Photo Paint X4, um, it's, fairly, it's relatively recent that it's come out. Uh, I mean, just to give you an example, if we look at the brush settings docker on the right side of the screen, we've got a ton of options. In fact, it, uh, it uh, far exceeds the capabilities of Photoshop with the options that are here. I'm just going to disable um, my sensitivity for um, size because I want to have the same size nib here. All right, good enough. We're going to create uh, three very different types of shapes, but in the same kind of style. I'm just going to create a battle axe, and uh, this has nothing to do with your potential mother-in-law that you may have. Little joke there. Uh, let's draw, say, a pine tree. Well, that's kind of a goofy looking tree there. There we go. Oh, that's so much better. <laughs> Something like that. And then we'll draw some kind of a goofy face here. I don't like that one eyeball there. And with this kind of a case, you want to make sure it's closed off with black like that, because that'll help in the, the tracing process later on. So I'm going to draw a mouth. Nice to have a little tongue there. What the heck. Draw a little ear. And then I'll just put a little mop. It's got kind of a Bart Simpson type hairdo there. Chin is kind of goofy that first time around. And I'm just going to uh, clean up this part of the ear. It's kind of bugging me there. And as you can see over here, we need to close that off. So I'm just going to quickly do that. That'll be something that will make it work for the tracing process later. Let's draw a little trunk on the tree. I'm going to zoom in on the axe. I have an idea for that. I'm just going to fill that in like that. I could leave it like that, but I'm going to get a little bit fancy in this case. I'm going to uh, cut away inside there like that. Something like that. Some kind of lashing, you know, to keep the axe in place. All right, let's say we're happy with that. Our incredible artwork there. I'm going to put this on the clipboard. Uh, head on over to Corel Draw. Just dump it in. I didn't have to select anything uh, at first before cutting it to the clipboard. And I'm just going to open up uh, Power Trace. This is new uh, in X4 and X3. But what I'm going to do here is pick Line Art. Actually, you know what? I think I'm just going to check here. We're at, we have an RGB bitmap uh, in this case. And what we're going to do is convert that to one bit first. Which is just straight black and white pixels like that. And that gives uh, Corel Power Trace a really easy time to figure out what's happening there. And my settings here all look pretty good. It's automatically getting rid of the background. It's going to delete the original bitmap image. And the layering that they have in Corel Draw X4 has changed to be similar to the old Corel Trace, which is, in my opinion is a good thing. Just done, going to ungroup all those shapes. I'm going to uh, select this tree and rotate it so it looks a little more normal. All right, so everything's ungrouped. All we need to do is drag and drop some colors from the palette and something like that. I'm going to, uh, let's give the guy some brown hair. And I'm going to zoom in here. Oop, we don't need to have see the help dialog. Zoom in, hit Control R, Control R, Control R. There, we'll give that uh, kind of a brown color. Make the blade a little bit like that. I'm going to tint uh, part of this axe towards blue a little bit, just for fun. I'm going to um, make this tree kind of green. That's not really there, so that's kind of the green I'm looking for there. And maybe give the guy a pink tongue. And let's see what we got there. So there we go, we got a, uh, some silly shapes that uh, we created pretty quickly. Maybe that's too red. Uh, and um, yeah, just some fun stuff to create your own clip art. And again, this is all vector shape, so it'll scale very well and print razor sharp. I'm just going to take this little glitch out there. And uh, you get the idea. Hope you enjoyed it.